Hey, what's going on? It's your day. Another daily flock. Today is very rainy. Look at that. Like last week, was pretty hot. And all of a sudden, it's cool again. And we are up in the mountain in here. So the weather reminds me of some cloud forest habitat that I have been to. That's pretty cool and a lot of trees like it's a forest but not like a rainforest. Rainforest is very hot and humid. Cloud forest, it still rains but it's very cool. Um, we recently have adopted an animal that comes from the cool climate. Not a forest though, but it comes from a mountain, from the Andes Mountain in South America originally. And these are very popular animals. And um, because recently a lot of people are moving away, we have adopted a lot of animals from those ex-owners wouldn't be able to bring them along. So we have this animal today. We just adopted this animal. Ooh, chinchilla. Wow. This is definitely a cute animal. Chinchilla. Wow. We actually have another chinchilla. That is a girl. And this new member is a boy. And he's getting used to the new environment in here. And we are trying to introduce our chinchilla to him. So they will be meeting each other very soon when they're ready. Beautiful chinchilla. So these animals are quite popular pets actually. Maybe not as common as hamsters and rabbits, but still a lot of people keep them. So look at the face, they look so cute. Wow, little shaky shaky. I like him to go on my arm. Because in the natural habitat, they live in the Andes Mountain. They jump from rocks to rocks a lot. So they are very good at climbing and jumping. These animals are very very popular pets look at their face you can understand they're super cute and nice but the thing is not many people especially in asia southeast asia in a warm climate area it's not very easy to keep them well because they have to be kept cool like today is pretty cool for us like i think it's What's the temperature for today? Let me see. The temperature for today is okay. It's 19, 19 degrees Celsius. In Hong Kong, we use Celsius. 19 degrees Celsius is actually perfect for the chinchilla. But any any days that is warmer than this, like when it's over, I would say 20. 223 over the temperature they would feel very warm you know in Hong Kong most days in summer it can go up to 35 or even hot too so they have to be kept in a room with AC on during summer and we have a cold room with AC on all through summer time 24 hours so for chinchillas axolotls salamanders like some animals that require a uh, cooler temperature so chinchilla ooh wow mm. they let it go on the shoulder woohoo they love to climb i love it i love it Wow, amazing creature. 
So the reason why they cannot be kept in a warm environment because, you know, I have been to the natural habitat in the Andes mountain. It is pretty cool. And they do have very dense fur, right? They're probably the animal with the densest fur on land, right? They're only second to sea otter. The sea otters have the densest fur of all animals. But the chinchilla is just second to the sea otters. So like for us, each follicle, for humans in each follicle, we have probably one or two hairs. But for chinchilla, they can have like over 60 hairs out of one follicle. Oh, it brings back some old memories like when the very first chinchilla was imported to Hong Kong as pets was like maybe in late 80s or early 90s I remember one of my friends moved back to Hong Kong from Canada and he imported the very first chinchilla to Hong Kong and this is how chinchillas started to become pets in Hong Kong because there was a Japanese anime called Totoro. It's pretty famous back in the day. It's like a big like cat thing, it's really cute. It, it looks like the face of a chinchilla. So that um, my friend like kind of marketed it, like brand with the brand name, like uh, because chinchilla didn't have a Chinese name. Its Chinese name is like Mo Si Su, and it's too scientific, right? So in the pet trade, they gave them another name, Long Mao. It's like exactly like Totoro. So it's kind of like a commercial name for this species, but their scientific name is Mo Si Su. It's more like scientific in Chinese. Chinchillas. They look so cute. They are rodents. Can you believe it? And they are crepuscular. They are not nocturnal. They are crepuscular. They come out during dawn and dusk. So during nighttime, they actually do sleep. But you don't often find them during daytime. It's probably they enjoy cooler environment. Amazing. So I'm gonna let him meet my chinchilla girl and hopefully they will work out to become friends of a lifetime because like chinchillas are usually monogamous. They usually are loyal to to one partner. Like, usually, right? Beautiful. So in the wild, chinchillas already very hard to find recently they were reclassified to endangered but like 10 years back they were still classified as critically endangered like almost extinct in the wild so they are very common in pet trades but back in the natural habitat because of the fur industry so they got caught a lot and they were once almost almost extinct in the wild so luckily now they have come back and now they're reclassified as endangered species not critically endangered good for them thanks for education so more people know about this fact more people will help save them all right i think this is it for today's vlog i've been talking too much all right, say bye-bye.